Uh, so, so I just went. I guess. Uh, gentleman right there. Sir. Greetings. I just want to piggyback on the funding of education. I have a question on why um, why do we enact policies and procedures that we wouldn't generally proceed in our own homes or business, but we do it in, with education and we find that it's okay. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. If I were to collect $5 from everyone in this room stating that I was going to get them a lunch and I was going to collect $7 from individuals that were ages 30 and up and I come back and provide them with carrots, they would be upset. You would be upset. It would be a criminal offense. And then I find out that I get paid. I actually was employed to do the services that I provided. Yet, when we flip the topic to education and say that the, the education system are being paid for the students that are sitting in the seats and you get more funding for special ed students that are in the seats, but then you claim you don't know what you're doing with the funds, uh, I have a problem with that. And I want to know why do we understand on a personal level how we can fix the problem, but then when we start talking about finance and education, then we start towing the line or we have sleight of hand conversation. Do you think there's something going on? That's a good question. Do you think there's something going on with the way that we say we're funding public mm -hmm. education versus what we actually do with those dollars? Yes. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reality is that under the scenario that we have in our state government, it's all about survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. And that's what our state has come to. Uh, public education is a need, not a want. Uh, the future of our state based on who's employed and how we treat our people uh, is a need, not a want. And somehow this has become a bad thing. Ex uh, public education is not considered to be a value. And you're right. He's right because locally, in terms of s certain schools, if you have a decreased uh, uh, enrollment, then you get decreased dollars and you get Sorry. decreased uh, benefit that's to right. those students. That's, right. that's what's happening in HISD, and in particular uh, places on the east side of, of, our, of our city, of east side of our town. So we have to fix it across the board so that the equity continues to occur, and that's what's not occurring, mm -hmm. is funding in terms of equity both within our school districts and within our state.